All right, get dressed. Can you get up? No, get you stuck? There you go. Luke, Tom, and Nate here with the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. And today, we're going ice fishing. It's a balmy 10 degrees here in Alaska. And we're here at a little city lake inside of Anchorage. And we're going to try to catch some little stocked rainbow trout. This is just kind of a, a fun way to go ice fishing with the boys. And uh, it doesn't take a lot of gear. We've got a hatchet and about 20 bucks worth of fishing gear. We're going to see if we can't make it happen. Yeah. On you. Yeah, look right there. Has somebody drilled an old hole here? That's an old hole. Yeah. Hey, yeah, you're right. It does look like somebody cleared this off recently. Alright, let's try this spot. It looks like the rest of the it's Yeah! Oh, see? I knew. Fresh one. Uh, there you go, that one's not very deep at all. Oh, water. I hope not. There you go. Bring my... You can try to cut your own hole with just the axe, but if it's more than about 10 inches thick, it just doesn't work. It gets too deep to be able to swing the axe. If we got two holes punched, I'm gonna get the gear out of the car and we're gonna see if we can't catch something. Now, ice fishermen are notorious for spending tons of money. You can go and get ice fishing shelters with heaters and stuff. I mean, you can spend a lot of money on this, but you don't have to. We went and got a couple rods and reels at Cabela's, but you can use a little bit of string on a bottle. It doesn't have to be fancy. And we're gonna try to stay a little comfortable. So we've got a rocket stove we made out of a log over there. You just take a, a round a piece of wood, drill a hole down, and then another hole 90 degrees, build a fire inside, and we can heat up water on a tea kettle there and make hot chocolate warm our hands oh. so all right let me show you my gear we got these little berkeley ice fishing rod and reel combos for 20 bucks uh, they had the line already on them great for little trout and uh, i've got one's got a tiny swedish pimple on it and the other one has got a little tungsten jig head with a little rubber blood worm on it i've also got some eagle claw hooks and some uh, fireball salmon eggs to try as well and then of course you need something to get the ice off. For like three or four bucks you get this little thing and you just go and scoop, ladle off, ladle off all the ice. Keep the hole clear because it'll, it'll try to freeze up on you. It's 10 degrees out. You can buy ice fishing cameras and ice fishing sonar that you put down the hole so you can look around and see what's going on. When I was doing this growing up here in Alaska, we just used to stick our faces in the hole and look around and see if you could see the trout. It's deep enough I can't see all the way to the bottom, so it's harder to tell. Because usually if you got a, a light sandy bottom, you can see the silhouettes of the fish. But we're a little too deep for that right here, so we'll see what happens. One of the things you got to figure out is not only where the fish are on the lake, but how deep they are. They might be on the bottom, they might be right underneath the ice. But uh, what I'm going to do is start right off the bottom, jigging a little bit. I'm going to do that for a few minutes. And if you don't get any bites, then reel it up once or twice, then jig. Keep doing that until we kind of search out the whole water column. Bounce, bounce. Give it a real good bounce. For new to ice fishing, you're not quite sure where to drill your holes. One of the things that's really nice is go out onto a popular lake and look for old holes that have fish guts all around the hole. That's always a good place to start. Can you feel it? Can you feel the warm? So I'd give it a little bit. one from DC it's like 300 bucks this is a little tungsten lead head with the salmon egg on it this is a real classic ice fishing hook has a little bit of weight so it gets to the bottom and you can jig it a little bit but a lot of exposed hooks so you can put bait on there that works really well flight too so it's yeah you know, it's, it's pretty well check it out those guys over there just started setting up they're using a hand auger so we're gonna go over and see uh, how it's going and kind of demo what that's like. You're making snow cones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just, you don't need, I just use your hand, you just. It feels like it's new. Oh! Yeah, yeah you got through there, huh? Now I can get it back out. Wow! Yeah. 
That's about two and a half feet of deep. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. deep. Thanks. The guy over there is using a weighted ice chisel to cut his hole. Not a bad way to do it. Our, our neighbors over here, they've got some cool stuff going on. Look at this. Yeah, that's a lot simpler because then you don't have to worry about your eyes, your eyes getting iced up and all the line getting iced up. That's it's just simple. It's just a stick. So yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, this is a really popular lake. You can see a lot of people out ice fishing today. Got a little hut out there. Neighbors here. Family just pulled up right there. We're right there. All right, this is the way to get into ice fishing, man. Find a stocked lake in the city. Nothing fancy. Get some sticks with line around it, an axe or an auger or a chisel. It doesn't have to be complicated. It's like watching the Ewoks attack an ant app. Oh. <laughs> Tom. Tom, come on, Tom. Come Reel it in. He's gonna get away. Oh. Put him back down here. Let's go get him. These little rocket stoves are really nice. Just throw a few shavings in there, kind of get it started. And once it's going, it's self-sustaining for a while. And uh, it's just a really efficient way to use fuel. Oh, what? Those no fish? Here, grab that and jerk it hard. Jerk it hard. Okay, reel it in. Reel it, pull it up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. This is a cute little fish. <laughs> That's adorable. There we go. Little stock trout. It was so easy. Nathan, you want to cook them? Yeah, totally. Let's keep it. We you got, we got dinner. Water? Little tiny rainbow trout. Little stocked rainbow trout. We'll cook them up. It's just like, oh, it's, now it's moving more than it was a second. Right. Just cutting it open like, yo. Oh, yeah. Bring jeans. <laughs> If you think there's something on there, get jerk it for all your words. Well, this will have to sustain. Oh, oh, oh. 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 We're gonna eat up our little trout here. Mm. I'm gonna eat the trout. You wanna eat some trout? Come over here. Here, I'll feed you. Here, here's a little bit of trout right there. Mm -hmm. I'm tasting. Mm. Mm. I love them. Oh, yeah, them. It's so yeah. yummy. Yeah, you want some? Like, yeah. Head and, like, yeah. No, there's no seasonings or anything on it. Just, just plain fish. Like I would like man. some seasoning. Yeah. A bit of skin there. Hey, Dad. That's pretty much. You like guys never... Yeah. It's working out better now. So, what have you learned about it? Yeah, it works pretty good. Takes a little while to get going. He's going to take that out. So, what's your end goal with this? It's just like a big hole so I can, like, all fill. So, going ice fishing in Alaska is a lot like going to the beach in other places. The kids are just digging random holes and burying each other in the snow. So, and maybe we'll catch a fish. All right, Nate, you having fun? The secret yeah. ingredient. Nathan, are you warm? <laughs> oh, good. Uh. All right. Oh, look at that. Got a bite. Bite. Can you I roll it in? Yeah, here, really it in. Look at that. Oh my goodness, you see what that is? What is that? Is that a burbot? It looks like a burbot. Look at that, that is cool. Look at that, that is cool. Ah, there he goes. Bye bye. You know, we're out here using these little rod and reel combos, but these are really designed for fishing in ice houses where it's heated. Because when you're out in the elements like this, you get ice buildup on, on the tips of the, the rod and in the reel, and it just makes things overly complicated. Just a piece of wood or a bottle with line wrapped around it works just as well, frankly, and if a little bit better. So don't feel a need to buy a ton of gear. With just some line and a hook and some bait and an ax, you can go out and be ice fishing. Our rocket furnace worked out pretty well. It's lasted about three hours so far. And we're able to boil a lot of water and uh, cook a fish over it. There's enough time to show me and Ransom. Yeah, because if it's you like that, Nate, going to town on a chocolate donut, man. Yeah. All right, well, guys, well, let's pack it up and we're going to head back. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos from the Catfish and Carp Woo. YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. subscribe!
Yay! <laughs> Nailed it. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys.